welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. We're going to talk a little bit about succession planning over the next few episodes. But before we get into that great interaction on, on the website with an individual who, who we talked a lot about patients and this decision-making process as, as it pertains to patients. And so the question was asked, well, then, do you are you choosing one of those two individuals? And really, the answer is no, we're getting a third answer that will create the ultimate win-win-win and keep everyone involved. Working together works because it's the opposite of the judicial process where we are picking winners and losers. And so I think that's the most important part of that, this patient's conversation we had. But it's, it's all about the conversation, the research, being open-minded, the desire to spark a broad-minded, fresh start. It, it, and that's what we're trying to accomplish, and that's what patients helps us to do and patients use wisely will lead you your leaders and your organization to becoming broad-based leaders who play a variety of leadership roles for example you're you, sometimes you're driving sometimes you're delegating sometimes you're supporting you're empowering you're co collaborating you're coaching these are all the things that you do and sometimes you do them all intertwined into that decision making process but if you exercise the patience you allow that to happen and in this process you'll find inspires others to perform at their best create a climate that fosters personal investment, excellence, and teamwork. So through your patience and inclusion, it sets a tone and allows the pursuit of, pursuit of aggressive goals. So I kind of had this conversation with the individual. They called after we, after we got a few emails, and I wanted to share that with you. So um, I love the feedback. Continue. Uh, we're we're, we're uh, gaining subscribers. I love it. Keep up the good work. So let's talk a little bit about succession planning. We'll introduce it today, and then we'll continue on to talk a little bit about succession planning. What is succession planning? Well, it's a process of identifying, developing, and transitioning potential successors for the company's present and future roles. Very, very important. And it's aligned with the talent and the ambitions of the people inside the organization and your talent network. Very important. So you have a role, you have a responsibility out there, you have needs, and now you're matching them up with people inside your organization or people who potentially you may have to go outside the organization to recruit and identify. Your goal is to identify top talent for your organization and have a process to do that. You don't want to do that after the person leaves or you have an opening. Ideally, it's like a farm system that you're building the way uh, professional teams have a farm system. or And so when, when one individual gets promoted or someone leads the organization or someone retires, you have an, you've identified that developing transition process. I think it's so important, and it's important for a lot of different reasons. It, it mitigates risk, right? Inside your organization, you don't have that opening for three months, six months, nine months, where everyone inside your organization is doing more with less because you're, you're short an individual. I think that's so important. Think about that on the sales side. When, you, when an individual may get promoted to the next level of sales or they may leave the organization and they may retire from the organization, those are two positive things, retire from the organization or get promoted. Well, they shouldn't be two out of three are good, but yet it's a problem inside the organization because that area that that management person or that sales executive had is now left open because you did not have a succession planning process. I think it also keeps people involved, right? Because they're part of the succession planning. Somewhere in a, in a process, they're part of that process. So succession planning is that planning process, is that process for you to identify key positions, identify key people, and identify needs, and prepare yourself for when those needs arise. Until we meet again, thank you for being part of the Leadership Library podcast, and we'll talk more about this important topic of succession planning.